एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर द न्यू यू जी सी सी बी सी एस करिकुलम एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड ईजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम हेलो एवरी वन टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर विल बी कवरिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक होमोजीनियस फंक्शन एंड नॉयलर्स थीरम दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर बी एस सी ऑनर्स मैथमेटिक्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स बी टेक एंड बी एस सी जनरल स्टूडेंट्स हाई आई एम डॉक्टर सीमा ठाकरान वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी If you want to study this topic in detail, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. E-book link is given in the description box. Homogeneous functions. I'll start with. What are homogeneous functions? You have studied these formulas, and you still remember. x plus y whole square x square plus two y square plus two x y then x plus y whole cube also you have started most commonly you use it these are basically homogeneous functions why they are homogeneous functions you just see the power. This is uh, x power is two, y power is two. H here you add the powers one and one. It means if any function having all the powers same, and here the power is same, two two two. This is homogeneous function. Same goes for this. It means any expression of this type is a homogeneous function. In general, how we write it? Let in general let this be a homogeneous function. homogeneous homo in short i am writing then it is of the type an xn a1 xn minus 1y and a2 xn minus 2y square and so on the last term will be an yn so this is the expression power is in n minus 1 plus 1 n n and n so this is homogeneous expression so uh, let fx y be a homogeneous function this is the general form for a homogeneous function but this form is very complicated anyhow if you take it as it is what i'll be doing i just take out x in common throughout if you are taking x in common the expression you will leave with here only a n then this is very first coefficient a not a1 then a1 uh, you have already taken x in outside So you are left with y by x. Then a two here you will left with y by x whole square, and the last term will be a n y by x whole power n. So you can see this is this has been reduced to this form. You can call it a different function g of y by x. Yani, iska matlab hai aap hamesha ek agar aisa expression ho usko is form mein leke aao. then the this n is very important to solve what for the problems this is this function the z function is homogeneous function of degree n so this degree is important rest you can just uh, express the function in y by x form that is not important that way but your function should be homogeneous it means all power should be same when you are adding now coming to the problems which comes in exams in competitive exams very first example i am taking all the problems almost a uh, similar type of it, it, there is a pattern to solve these problems so this is your question anyhow if you are looking at the question it doesn't look like that it is uh, uh, so this is the problem and you have you are supposed to find out this x del z by del y equal to tan u for such problems you will be referring homo homogeneous functions i have already told you now suppose if this question if u is this show that x del z by del x y del z by del y how you will be solving this question so such type of expression you just mark because this this expression can be solved only by a theorem that is euler's theorem 
and now I'll be explaining the Euler's theorem. So let Z is before solving this question understand the theorem let Z is be a homogeneous function. It means this theorem you will be applying only for homogeneous uh, functions. If it is homogeneous function of degree n then your theorem says that then x partial derivative already we have studied in the last lecture. So del z by del x partial derivative then y del z by del y will be equal to this degree this n and multiplication with this z. So you can see uh, this question and the theorem statement almost uh, it is just completely similar it means this type of questions you can solve by Euler's theorem only. Now to solve this question I will be applying the Euler's theorem just see how how come like uh, we will be solving it. So see the question this is u sin inverse x square plus y square and I will be applying the theorem. So solution of the question but directly you cannot apply why there is a reason if you see this question this is not homogeneous it is not homogeneous this is sign inverse something so it is not homogeneous I will be making it homogeneous because my expression says that I can solve this question by Euler's theorem only it means I have to have a homogeneous function in the question so take the sign inverse this side this will become sign u and I will lift on the RHS with this expression only take out x common x square from numerator and x from denominator because I, I have to have this form as I explained earlier in the beginning. So this is giving me x and the rest of the function is I can call it as g of y by x because this is not required no need to write it again and again you can save time from this you can have idea what is the degree 1 so it means your and you can let here z also because uh, sin u uh, anyhow a big expression so simply let it as z so it means z is homogeneous function of 1 degree z is homogeneous function of degree 1 apply the theorem the theorem says x into del z by the first variable this is the first variable and now the second one equal to n is 1 and z is z only fine now uh, the uh, problem arises where where the problem arises the problem arises because you cannot put it directly now and the problem is u z was sin u z was sin u na? and u is function of x and y how you will be taking the derivative because you have to substitute this value x del z by del x you cannot as I made the chain in the last lecture also now you see this now z is function of u and u is function of x and y it means from z to u uh, uh, you can um, uh, you can have a total derivative but from u to x you can have partial derivative only so del z by del x when you are calculating it means total derivative of the function with respect to u total derivative will be cos u and then u partial derivative u with respect to x because there is a split in the chain it is not a single chain so this is the derivative with respect to x now same way with respect to y you will be taking so again uh, when you are moving uh, when you are taking with respect to y what you will do z derivative with respect to u so z derivative with respect to u will give you sin u derivative that is cos u then u partial derivative with respect to y these values you will be substituting in this equation you can number it as 1 so you can number it as 1 put the values in this uh, expression uh, these two values so these two values when you will substitute in this you will get x into cos u del u by del x then y cos u del u by del y equal to uh, 1 into z and what was your z? z is your sign u and this implies take this cos common take out common and take it in the, the uh, uh, take it to that side 
your final expression will look like x del u by del x y del u by del y equal to sin u by cos u that is tan u sin upon cos is tan so and we were supposed uh, the question requirement were uh, was this so we have proved it by using the concept of euler's theorem it means you have to have your function homogeneous if you are applying uh, euler's theorem and these uh, th this expression you can remember if such a such an expression you are getting it means ki aapko usko euler's theorem se hi solve karna hai is it fine so now moving to i'll uh, i'll be taking a break and i'll just give one question very simple question and i'll be taking uh, the, the, the that that problem after the break i'll be asking or i'll be uh, giving you the solution just after that so the problem is this anyhow very simple problem it is not very difficult problem so if u is this show that and then show that x into del u by del x y into del u by del y i just make it little uh, i make it q so you can just show that this is two only anyhow a uh, very simple it, it is looking so this question you will be solving and uh, after the break i'll be uh, giving you the solution or the answer for this question hi i'm manika and you're watching eschant academy i'll be discussing the topics like carbohydrates amino acids peptides proteins and many other topics related to bsc program for more such lecture you can stay tuned to our channel and subscribe to our videos so that you get more and more info about our upcoming lectures you can also refer to our previous lectures on the related topics stay tuned stay focused because it may help you in your competitive exams also and preparation of the other topics also related to your courses thank you welcome back to s chand academy before going to the break uh, i give you this question i hope you have solved it if you uh, have uh, uh, listened to the uh, uh, lecture carefully but in case you have issues you can just see the solution now so for the solution again it is not homogeneous function but uh, according to this expression it looks like that this can be solved by euler's theorem and euler's theorem you can apply on homogeneous functions let's make uh, this uh, function homogeneous first so how to remove this log function this is a task to do because in sin inverse case we took uh, sin inverse on the left hand side it was easy but here what you will do anyhow whenever we want to remove log what you do log e just uh, uh, add and a log e value is 1 so you can add it easily there is no issue at all and then you can apply the power uh, rule for log you can take this uh, in the power this is log property so this will become log e to the power u this will be log x cube plus y cube upon x plus y now you can see simply this way we can remove uh, log no issues at all so this will give you e to the power u simply and so my expression is this one now so after this expression what to do obviously you have to uh, take out x common to make it uh, in the form of homogeneous function so 1 plus y by x this power is now x square call it a g function of the type y by x again let it as z as we did it in the last question also solution because it 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 gives you that comfort now just leave it for some time z is function of x and z is homogeneous function of uh, x and y with degree 2 so apply the theorem again so applying applying euler theorem we get what we get x the first variable then del z by del x okay you must be noting noticing that on u we are not applying it directly on z we are applying because z expression is of that type homogeneous type e to the power u is not complete e to the power u is homogeneous but on a single u variable is not homogeneous so don't do it don't apply it on uh, u directly 
it it will be on z and then it will be uh, moving to u so 2 into z put up the values so this is by euler's theorem put up the values now again so my z is e to the power u again i am making the chain because z is u a function and u is x and y how to take the derivatives now z is a uh, single variable u uh, function but u is two variable function so it means here it will be total but uh, this onwards it will be partial derivative so del z by del x how to move from z to x z to x first is derivative of z with respect to u so what is the derivative of e to the power u it's simply e to the power u only then del u by del x and then same parallel lines del z by del y so it will be e to the power u del u by del y put up uh, now number this as one this equation is important one use or put these values in this uh, expression we will get x into e to the power u del u by del x plus y into e to the power u del u by del y equal to e 2 into z z is e to the power u so finally the complete expression in u simply remove this e to the power u from both sides we can uh, remove because it is on both sides so final expression is and this you were supposed to prove or show so this is done the using the same uh, using the theorem Euler's theorem okay so now I am taking a little uh, different problem or uh, almost similar but pattern will be same but problem is different. So you see how you will be just calculating. So log uh, question you have done in log you have to remove log and obviously exponential function and log functions are inverse of each other. So for log question you will be using exponential function only then only you can solve it. Taking uh, another uh, problem. So if z is tan inverse x square plus y square x minus y. So in competitive exams you will be getting this question directly. So it means you have to solve there uh, in like seconds and it comes by practice. So if this is the function prove that or show that x into uh, so taking another problem if z is 10 inverse x cube plus y cube upon x minus y prove that this. So again you can see this expression is just Euler's uh, expression left hand side. So again we will be using uh, the same theorem. So for the solution take uh, 10 z uh, 10 to this side then x cube you can skip the skip, uh, steps now because you have learned uh, we have done two questions now so take out x cube uh, from uh, numerator common and then from denominator take out x common the highest power you can say so 1 minus this so this is uh, homogeneous function degree 2 tan z this time it is z so you will be letting it as u it hardly makes a difference so this time it, the variable is u it means u is variable u is homogeneous function of x and y with degree 2 so you will be applying the theorem on u function this time so u is homogeneous function of x and y degree degree 2 apply the theorem on u this time so x into del u by del x y into del u by del y into 2 u x you can even substitute the value directly also you can substitute the value directly also so del u by del x means first you will be taking the derivative with respect to z and then z derivative with respect to x Anyhow, I am making this chain because u is function of z, z is function of x and y. There is a reverse in the chain this time because of the variables. <coughs> so, del u by del x means first total derivative with respect to z. So, it is secant square z and then del z by del x plus y secant square z 
del z by del y and 2 into u keep it 2 into 2, uh, u is 2 tan z then uh, take the secant square z that side so x into del z by del x plus y del z by del y will be equal to this is 2 tan z just uh, split it the formula is 2 sin z tan z is sin z by cos z this is secant square z so secant square z in the numerator oh, sorry in the denominator and you know that reverse or 1 by secant square z is cos square z so simply this gets cancelled 1 power so 2 sin z 2 sin a cos b what is the formula that is 2 sin a that is 2 sin z so we are done with the problem and this we were supposed to uh, prove and it is proved so now uh, the last problem of the lecture this is u equal to cos inverse x plus y upon under root x plus under root y show that x del u by del x plus y del u by del y equal to minus half cot u the same way if you have learned the topic if you have understood the questions uh, completely then you then this question you will find easy anyhow the degree is a big issue so let's see how you will be finding the degree so again cos u you will be taking this side for the degree what happens what uh, generally students do mistake so from uh, numerator x is coming outside then from the denominator it is under root x so this is giving you x to the power 1 minus half so this is 1 minus half is basically x to the power half and this is your y by x function so again you can say this is a homogeneous function let it as z so when you will be letting it as z it is completely the same form degree is half this time so degree is half so degree degree is half apply the theorem again so by applying Euler's theorem on z you can apply Euler's theorem on z not u on u be careful so x del z by del x plus y del z by del y equal to your n that is half and z is cos u so you can directly substitute the value here now del z by del x the same way it means first you will be taking the derivative of this cos u derivative is minus sin u and then del u by del x that is pending then y then minus sin u del u by del y equal to half cos u this implies take this minus sin u uh, this side cos u by sin u will become cot u so this is what we are looking for because that is our that that's what uh, we want to prove so this is minus half cos u by sin u so this becomes half cot u so direct uh, directly also if you have practice you can solve this question so quickly after four questions i hope you have the practice solving quickly so uh, this is it in this lecture we have learned homogeneous functions what are homogeneous functions and what is basically Euler's theorem and how to apply Euler's theorem for uh, in homogeneous equations if you want to study this topic in detail you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing e-book link is given in the description box Please don't forget to share, like and subscribe to S. Chand Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.